So today we're going to talk about parasite prevention. Um, mainly we're going to focus on the barber pole worm and prevention and then we're going to touch on a few of the other ones. Uh, parasites, like I said, we're talking mostly about the barber pole worm better, or with the scientific name Hamacus catortis. But other internal parasites are also coccidia and external parasites are lice and mites. And on the slide there's a picture of lice and mites here. And then the barber pole worm down here. Uh, in the talk we're going to go through animal management, which is the FAMACHA test that we'll get into here shortly. Pasture management, like how big or how long the grass in the pasture should be and how long you should be grazing the pastures. And a deworming program. Another word for deworming is also anthelmetics. So we're going to start with the FAMACHA test. Um, this is a test for Hamacus catortis only or else barber pole worm. And it doesn't work for any of the other parasites. The FAMACHA test was developed in South Africa and introduced to the United States by the American Consortium for Small Ruminants Parasites Control. Clinical signs that you need to look at before you use this test would be diarrhea, bottle jaw, or poor body condition along with the animal just being lethargic and not being themselves. The picture down here is a picture of bottle jaw. Um, it will be usually coming about if it's a really bad case of parasites. And this is when you know you need to do something pretty soon or else you'll have a lot of complications. Uh, it is a test about to see how much anemia is in the blood. See if your animal is anemic, which means that they have lost blood. Uh, the anemia is actually caused by the Hamacus catortis. And it, it's because it feeds on the blood through the abomasum wall of the goats. Uh, the Fumacha is the only use is only useful for barber worm. It's it's back here is a picture it's when you pull down the eye to the, like the third eyelid and you see the coloration of that membrane to know if it's um if they have anemia or not it's and it has five different categories that you look for with category being one being not anemic and category five meaning that they are severely anemic for number one and two, the right here, uh, you do not need to deworm them because they are perfectly fine and have a lot of good red blood cells. In category three, you can deworm them if you think it's necessary, but you should see how the body condition is. And if it's a little baby goat, you need to deworm them because they are more susceptible than other than the adults are. And categories four and five, this is when it's the most severe. You need to check them every two weeks after deworming them or sooner, depending on how the animal is acting, until they become a category one or two. Now we're gonna talk about pasture management. Pasture management is a really big part of parasite prevention. Um, the barber pole worms live in the soil and the larvae live on the grasses up to three inches where they can climb up. The infected larvae can live in a pasture for a really long amount of time. Um, goats graze close to the ground so that they can become infected a lot easier than horses or cows can. And the horses and cows are actually dead end um, hosts for the barber pole worm, meaning that they don't really get affected by it. So the best way to help your animals not get infected by the barber pole worm is rotational grazing and an efficient anthelmetics program. Also, you can leave a pasture empty for th three months and it will be considered free of the worms so that when you put the animals back, there is a good growth of grass and then you won't have issues with worms for a little while. You also want to avoid overgrazing as in the bottom picture here. When you overgraze, the worms will be easier gotten into the animals because they'll be grazing so close to the ground where they'll be eating up the larvae. Um, you want your pastures to be three inches or higher so that you don't have this issue. Um, earlier we talked about external parasites. So the way that you treat those is you're going to use a topical um, medicine, medication, either one of these two or whatever else your vet would recommend. As you can see, these are more cattle vaccination or medicines. 
So you will need to have a good relationship with your veterinarian in order to have an extra label use of them. Um, anthelmetics, otherwise known as dewormers, are drugs that either kill eggs laying adults or kill larvae before they become adults and become capable of laying eggs. There are very few products that are actually approved by the, F the FDA for goats. So, like I said in the last um, page, that you will need to have a good relationship with your veterinarian so that they can prescribe or tell you how to use other medications that don't have instructions for goats. And my references. Now, uh, why, uh, you know, that the cattle poron Ivermax was one of them. Is, is it, you would use that for goats, but obviously use a lesser amount, right? Actually, you, no, you use about the same amount oh, as the cattle. The same amount. We use the, the roughly the same amount. Okay, okay. Yeah, but obviously consult with your veterinarian. Yes. 